All right, let's go over graphing a function rule. Let's say we have y equals 2x minus 4, and we want to graph it. So what we should do is pick some x values, and we want to find the associated y values. So let's try negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And our function is 2x minus 4, and we're going to get the y values. Alright, so let's substitute negative 3 in for x and see what the y value would be. So this would be 2 times negative 3 minus 4. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 4 is negative 10. Let's try negative 2, 2 times negative 2 minus 4. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and minus 4 is negative 8. Let's try negative 1. It's going to be negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Let's try 0. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. Let's put 1 in. So this becomes 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. Let's put 2 in. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 4 is 0, and now let's put 3 in, 2 times 3, minus 4, this is 6 minus 4, which is 2. So let's make another column for our coordinates, x, y. So when x is negative 3, y is negative 10, so we have negative 3, negative 10, negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 2, 2, 0, and 3, 2. So now let's uh, graph this. So I know I have to go down to negative 10. I'm just going to extend this a little bit because we have this point, negative 3, negative 10. So now let's graph these. Negative 3, negative 10 is here. Negative 2, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 6. 0, negative 4. 1, negative 2. 2, 0. And 3, 2. Okay, when we do this, it's very important to put arrows at both ends. And the reason is that even though these points are the points of the function, they're not the only points. We just got these results based on the number that we picked. But this function goes on forever in both directions, so we have to put arrows on both ends. And we can label it y equals 2x minus 4. And of course, this is the x-axis and the y.